I'm going to show y'all how to keep y'all cats snatched. How to keep y'all shit fall off the bone wax. I just got rubbed down cat. I just took a bath in coconut oil cat. Shoot. All of that good stuff. So if y'all want to see that, then psh, stay tuned. <laughs> like you need hey you guys it's Desiree and you know your girl came to slay so if you've never seen my face before then go ahead and click the subscribe button right there the little red button right there and if you are returning then what's up slay babe let's go ahead and get into this video so today I'm coming at you guys with a different video I wouldn't really say this is my hygiene routine because this is just like part of the things that I do but I'm gonna teach you girls how to keep your kitty snatch, how to keep your kitty wax, how to keep it clean, girl, all that and in between, like, period. Because if you don't have a soft coochie, then I don't know, like, I don't know what you're doing down there. Like, you really need to take care of your stuff down there. You need to keep her clean and moisturized and all of that good stuff because it is just, it is an, it is an important organ it is a vital organ and you need to treat her with love and care and also you need to keep her respect and don't be letting people just be uh, all up in there in and out blah 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 so basically i'm just gonna show you guys like this some of the things that i use in order to keep my punani looking pretty like keep her soft and make her always want to be in somebody okay so i'm gonna do this in actual like order of how i do it or whatever but the first thing that i use is i actually use this it's by v and it is the gel cream three in one hair remover okay it is a sensitive formula and it has aloe vera in it the reason why i use this instead of using a razor is because the razor kind when you when you shave your your cat with the razor you are more inclined to get ingrown hairs and you are more inclined to get hyperpigmentation which means like you have like this dark cast over your private area and i don't know if you know but for me like that's not cute and ingrown hurts ingrown hairs hurt like a they hurt so bad and sometimes i don't know about i really don't know like what y'all got going on down there but sometimes some your partners may mistake them for diseases yeah so if you want to just opt out of that period then go ahead and get this i do not recommend using nair because i feel like nair is for like gorilla like you have to have tough skin that's what i mean when i say gorilla because they have tough skin like I don't have that type of skin. I don't need some type of problems that there. It burns like a bitch for one. No. So I would just opt out for V because it's more sensitive and that is a sensitive area. You don't want Nair down there. <laughs> I don't. So there's that. The next thing that I do, I use a scrub. Like, it really doesn't matter what kind of scrub it is. I got this one from Walmart for like maybe five to 10 bucks. I'm not really sure, but you wanna scrub that area as well. And that just helps it to be soft and it just helps it to stay soft. I really don't know what else the scrub does besides exfoliate, which is also a good thing as well as exfoliate the disc and so you are more or less likely to have that dark cast area as well. So this is a good, um, this is a good um tool as well and like i said i just got this one at um walmart and it was either five or ten dollars but you can also make your own homemade scrum i don't have the time for that with like baking soda and like lemon and that will also help exfoliate as well and also the lemon and the baking soda helps to like lighten up that area if you have really really dark pigmentation it will also help okay so the next thing i want to talk to y'all about is this chic razor okay like it is actually not a razor it's an electric it's an electric razor it's an electric razor right but it has two sides to it and this is where you put the actual shaver but i don't use that at all i don't use 
uh, like an actual handheld razor at all. And see, it's kind of like a dildo, so you just turn it on and starts vibrating. And this is for, <laughs> this is for, like, say, if you miss a spot, then you don't have to go and put the um the V back on there. You can just kind of like get it, like get in the nooks and crannies with this. And this works wonders, like for real. Like if you don't have one of these, you need to get one of these because it's actually waterproof. You can actually use it in the shower, like in the water as well. So like, you know, while you're in the shower, you can use it as well. So I think that's really neat. Um, I don't really remember how much this was, but I also got this at Walmart as well. And like I said, like, it will literally get in the nooks and crannies that you actually, you know, that you can't put the V in. Because you don't want to put the V inside your vagina because, bitch, your shit is going to fall off. It's going to be burning. Don't do that, okay? Don't do that. But this right here will help, <laughs> will help get the little extra hairs that you actually miss. So, the most important tip is to moisturize, okay? I just use organic coconut oil and just kind of lather that area down and when i tell you guys my shit be so soft it be so smooth like a baby's bottom bro i so swear to god like if y'all never done this routine before and you do it please let me know because your shit really gonna be smooth smooth like smooth smooth that shit is gonna be fire it's gonna be falling off the freaking ball like barbecue good i'm telling you like this whole thing i've been doing this for i want to say about a year now and i absolutely love it like i even do it under my armpits and as you can see i don't have dark arms i hate dark arms and that's the reason why i stopped shaving in the first place because i'm really scared of dark armpits i don't know why but dark armpits really freak me out like you can be the prettiest girl in the world and then yo you raise up your arm and all i see is dark armpits and deodorant balls oh my god no that's like a major turn off not that i'm interested in girls but i'm just saying like yeah we don't we don't want to do that we want to keep it all smooth and clean and you know fresh and so clean i think that's pretty much it you guys like i don't do wax because it's hot and i'm pretty sure somebody gonna it's yeah and i don't want to feel that pain but with this this routine i usually don't i usually have to like do it like every two to three weeks which is not really it's not bad because when i do all that stuff it's still smooth it doesn't like the hair down it really doesn't grow that fast <sighs> wait okay the hair does grow fast but it's not like i don't know i feel like when you shave your hair the hair grows differently and it's like more it's like how do you say it? it's like hard like i don't know if it's like more nappy or like what but like with this it's more of like it's basically like putting a perm on your coochie like i don't know it just makes the hair super soft when it grows back it's not prickly or like annoying you know how you, when you shave and then like the next day you get those prickly hairs it's not like that at all by far like i really love this stuff so um there's that you bitches and yeah so if you guys would like to see more videos like this don't forget to come for me down below in the comments also if you are not already subscribed don't forget to subscribe to your girl because we growing y'all like i told y'all i was i was gonna get on my grind with this consistency stuff and that's exactly what i'm doing okay so like i said um that's it for this video so i'll see you guys in my next video bye i'm gonna show y'all how to shave the cat naked mole cat all of that kitty cat Newborn cat.